one viewer. Two. Two. Hands are just going to come behind the head. We're just going to take a little 
nose, out through the mouth.
So we're extending the right leg while taking a little hamstring stretch through that left side. Remember that right leg should be nice and flexed, nice and active. So we extend it down to the ground and lift back up. Really work to keep that low back pressed into your mat. Here's three. Two more on this leg. Here's two. One more. Hold the right leg in. Right behind the thigh or the calf is fine. This time that left foot is flexed and active. Drops down to the ground and pull it back up to meet the right. Keeping that low back and pressed into the ground, into the mat as we lower that left leg strong and forward. We're going to go four more reps and we'll begin our work. Here's four. Here's three. Last two. Final one. Beautiful. Feet come down to the ground. Exercise one is a standard sit-up. Now, I'll give you guys a few options for your sit-up. If a full sit-up is not available, just a little crunch up to the tips of the shoulder blades, and then returning back down will work. Chin stays up the chest, the gaze is up to the ceiling, or to the sky if you're outside. Option two is a little harder, a little bit more challenging. We'll be using your hands to come forward into your full seated position. If you want to progress that even another notch, Try to avoid using those hands. Just really let the abs do the work by keeping the hands attached to the head or maybe crossed at the chest in front of you. So we're going to be here for 30 seconds, guys. We'll start our work. Choose your option in three, in two, and one. We'll go for 30 seconds of crunches, sit ups, whatever option you chose. So again, most challenging option is going to be hands crossed at your chest or right at the head. A little bit easier is maybe using the momentum of the arms to drive you up into your seated position nice and tall at the top. Your easiest option is to be back down on that ground, just crunching on the tips of the shoulder blades. Last five seconds to work through. Here's three, here's two, and one. So we're going to move into some push ups. Again, as I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to come up to a wall or a Placing your hands against the surface, you can take your push up there. If you're on the ground, you have a few options here. You have the option for your modified push up. Remember when you take your push up, your butt should not be up in the air. We want the hips forward and the core engaged in your plank, coming down to the ground with the spine, pressing the floor away from you. If you're comfortable on the feet for a full push up, come up to your high plank position, bend the elbows, press away. We hit five reps in three, in two, and one, let's go. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. And here's five. Take a rest. Maybe a little stretch back into child's pose. Sitting up the hips back over the heels. Next exercise is just a standard plank hold. So option to hold that plank from a high position on the hands. Really make sure the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders are stacked. Or option to come down to your forearms. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Here's three, here's two, and one. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. So a lot of times, guys, I see people come in and think they've got great plate form, but their hips are really sagging down on the ground. It creates a lot of pressure in the low back. We really wanna to work to draw the hips in line with the shoulders, protect the low back, squeeze the glutes, fire those muscles on the legs to help hold the body up. Activate through the shoulders, the lats, down the sides of the back. Then make sure those hips are creeping up in the air, breaking your plank position and resting. Again, keeping them in line with the shoulders. Last five. Here's four. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful. From here, we move right into another five push ups. Again, option to do them on your feet, option to do them on your knees or against the wall. I'm going to take right on my knees this time. Five reps, let's go. Here's five. Breathing in. Exhaling, push the ground away from you. Four. Here's three. Gaze is right under the fingertips. Two. And one. Rest. Excellent. Next exercise is an in and out crunch. So we're going to be back in a seated position. Hands are going to be behind us this time for a little bit of support. I'm going to extend my upper body back as I shoot my legs out. I'm going to bring it all in 
together. So it's an in and out crunch using the hands for assistance. Now, you need to bring the feet to the floor. You can always alternate the knee in as the upper body comes in. You can also set the heels down in between each rep, pulling both in. If you want to make this a little harder, hands off the floor. You can join in three, in two, add one. Let's go. Extend out, crunch in. Breathing in as we extend, exhaling out as we crunch. A little bit of balance if you're taking those hands off the floor. An option to assist right behind the hips. We're already at halfway, looking straight ahead. Continuing to breathe. Last six seconds to push through. No push ups coming up. We're going to hold our beast in, in three, in two. Knees are in. We bring the hands to the back of the thighs. Now, if you're comfortable here, maybe you work to extend a leg to the sky or the ceiling. Maybe bring it in. Maybe you switch legs. Still working to balance and stay nice and lifted through that upright posture. You can always extend both legs if you're comfortable here and hold. Maybe you release the hands. Maybe you need to bring it back behind those thighs. Last five. Here's four. Lift that chest. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We lie down on our backs. Excellent. Well, so we're going to go into a standard leg lift. I'm going to take my hands into a little diamond position, placing them underneath of my tailbone and my hips, just for a little extra low back support. Legs are extended to the sky. We flex the feet, draw the legs together. Inhale and lower down as we keep that lower back pressed into the ground and we lift back up. Now, the lower the legs extend now, the harder it's going to be to keep those abs tucked in and press that lower back into the floor, into your mat, into your hands. If this is still too easy, you can always bring those hands out from under the tailbone, behind the head, and curl up on the tips of your shoulder blades. Last five seconds on this leg lift, then we're going to hold our hollow hold. So here's it comes. Three, two, the legs stay down. You have to curl up. You're welcome to stay curled up. If you have your hands underneath your tailbone, you're welcome to curl up on your shoulder blades. This will make your work a little bit more difficult. If you need to leave the neck and head, relax back. Leave the neck and head, relax back. Squeeze your booty. Here's three, here's two, and one. Beautiful. Now we roll it over. We hit five push ups. Here's three, here's two, and one. Let's go for five. Here's four. This is three, go two, and one. Beautiful. Last exercise on our series is that plank hold we started off with, and our second plank hold that we did, that second exercise we did, where we have a plank. Maybe high on your hands or low on the forearms. It's another 30 seconds in three, in two, and one. Just breathe. Everybody good? Can I get some thumbs up? Yes. Halfway through this hole. Halfway through this hole. We have two more sets of work today. We're going to work through these exercises again. You have five seconds to hold this. Four, three, two, rest. Beautiful. So we started off with exercise one, our sit up. Remember, you have your options for your sit up using the hands for momentum or hands at the head or crossed, or taking a crunch with the shoulder blades lifting and the low back staying on the ground. 30 seconds of sit ups, you guys. Here's three, here's two, and one. Let's go. Breathing in through the nose as we come down. We press the vertebrae one at a time into the mat. Pulling the left the spine, controlling our movement on the way up and on the way back to the mat. Last 10 seconds on those sit ups. This time, only three push ups in between each exercise. Here's two. Last one, all the way up. Roll it over. Three push ups, nice and strong. In three, in two, and one. Let's go for three, for two, and one. Now just hold that plank position. Hold that plank position. 30 second hold. Again, if you 
one foot off those wrists. Come down to the forearms. Make sure those elbows are under the shoulders. You're on the wrist. Elbows are between the wrist and the shoulder. Last 10 seconds to hold. We're going to hit another three push-ups in four. In three. In two. Right into it. Let's go. Here's three. Here's two. And one. We rest. Flipping it over into our in and out crunch. So when we're the hands are behind the back. Option to bring one knee at a time or both together, setting the heels down. And we can also float them up. Here's three. Here's two. Let's go. 30 seconds. In and out crunch. We inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. And options. Heels down. Lean back. Drive the knee as you come in. Switch sides of the leg. We got 15 seconds left to work. Maybe you take both feet into the chest this time. On the last 10 seconds, try to push your baby. You can take your hands up off the ground. Here's five, four, three, two, one. We sit in that V sit. Hold those legs in. Grab behind the thighs. Maybe you work to start to extend that right leg. Then you bring it in. Then maybe the other. Then you bring it in. Then maybe take both legs up and hold. Halfway there. Maybe if you're comfortable here, you work to release the hands. Sit up tall. Last seven, six, five. You're shaking your unit right. Here's three, two, one. We're on our backs. Beautiful, guys. Leg lift. So option for hands at a triangle or diamond underneath the hips. Or option for hands at the head. If you're at the head, you're going to be curled up on those shoulder blades. Here's three. Here's two, legs up, and one. Let's go, we lower, we lift. Now, if your hands are in that diamond position under your hips, you can also always curl up on the tips of the shoulder blades, just progressing that work a bit more. Remember, you choose to take those hands out from underneath the hips, they're behind the head, you're not pulling on your head, just rest the weight of your head in the fingertips, we're going to do that hollow hold. Hold those legs out. Hold those legs out. Maybe send those arms behind you if they were at the head. Maybe if you've got them underneath the tailbone, you start to curl up on the shoulder blades. If you're feeling any strain in the neck, you can always bring the head back down. Last six seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. We're going to flip it over. We hit three push-ups. Holding plank out of those push-ups. Here's three. Here's two. And one. Let's go for three. For two. Last one. Hold that plank. Hold that plank. 30 seconds. Look right ahead of your fingertips. Right at the front edge of your mat. Squeeze your butt cheeks tight together. Like you've got a winning lottery ticket between the butt cheeks. Drive your heels back towards the wall behind you. Think about pulling your elbows back towards your toes. You should be shaking here. You've got six seconds. Five, four, check those hips. Make sure they're not dipping down. Three, two, rest. Beautiful work, you guys. Woo, I'm sweating. We have one more set through all of these exercises, getting just two push-ups in between each. This will be our last round of work. We'll take a quick stretch, and we'll be done for the day. Here we go, you guys. 30 seconds of sit-ups. Last time this afternoon, here's three, here's two, and one. So we're working through our options again. Hands at the chest, connected to the body, so they give you no room to use momentum for. Hands behind the head allows for a little bit of momentum through the elbows as you come up. Hands off the head, using those arms to help drive you to seated. A little bit easier. Remember, Least challenging option, but always a great one, is that crunch on your back. Belly button to the spine, back into the floor. Here's three. Here's two and one. We roll it over. We hit two push-ups, really strong push-ups. We go right into our plank hold once we're done with them. Here's three. Here's two. Let's go. Down. Push one. Down. Push two. Hold plank. Now maybe you pull on your hands. Again, if you're feeling the wrist, maybe you come down to the forearms. But a great option is bringing those knees to the ground, keeping that modified plank position, especially if you're 
who is starting to fatigue here or feeling the pressure in the low back. Last six seconds to hold. Here's five, four, three, two, one. We're seated, moving into our in and out crunch. Hands behind the hips for assistance. Extend the legs out. Bring the knees in. Let's do this. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Option to drop the heels. Pull them in. Option to do that one at a time. Option to release the hands. Last eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Holding that piece of that. Let's grab that recent hold. Hold it here, guys. Chest lifted. Stay up nice and tall. Think length and posture out of the spine. Hands can be right at the thighs. Maybe the outsides of the shins if that's available. We can start to extend the legs one at a time or both at the same time if you're good there. Maybe you release the hands. Last eight seconds right here. Just breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We are on our backs for our leg lifts. So we have hands in that triangle. Underneath the tailbone will work. Or behind your head. You're at down the head. You're curled up on the shoulder blades. Here's three. Here's two. And our legs are extended long. Feet are flexed. Lower down to the floor. Keep that low back press into the ground. Now, if you chose to lift up on the shoulder blades, either from the hands under the hips or the hands at the head, make sure you've got some space between your chin and your chest. You'll be straight out ahead of you. You're not feeling any pressure through that neck. Last five seconds, we're gonna hold that hollow hold. Here's three. Here's two. Hold those legs low. Option to extend those hands behind the head. Option to bring those hands back under the tailbone if you need it. If you're feeling any strength in the neck, option to bring the head back down. Keep the core engaged. Keep squeezing the glutes, squeeze the quads in the front of your leg. Pull that belly button down towards that mat underneath you. Your cage is pulling down as well. You've got four, three, two, one. We roll it over. We hit two push-ups. We hold plank. Do two more push-ups. And we bake. Here's three. Here's two. Let's go. Strong push-up for one. For two. Hold that plank. 30 seconds. Last 30 second plank. Hold. Breathe. Chin's off the chest. Make sure you're not dropping that chin. Make sure those hips are not hiking up to the sky. Hips in line with the shoulders. 10 seconds to hold this. Two push-ups to finish our workout. Here's three. Here's two. Let's hit them. This is one. And two. And rest. Hips back over heels as the knees come down to the ground. Child's pose. Beautiful work, you guys. Let's bring it forward. Hands and knees on the mat. Hips forward like we're going to do that push-up from our modified plank position. We lower the abs into the ground. Hands right by the chest. Press that upper body away from the floor for your cobra stretch. Try to relax those shoulders down the back. Leaving those hips and the tops of the thighs resting on the floor. Beautiful. From here, we sit the hips back into that child's pose again. Extend the arms long on the mat, resting the forehead on the ground. It's that last. Let's bring it forward on the hands and knees on all fours. Take a deep breath as you round your back. Pull that belly up to the spine. Big exhale as you tilt the chin, tailbone up to the sky. Push the belly button down to the ground. We'll roll through those again. Round the back into your cat. Stretch, pull that belly button up. Big exhale as you tilt the flat into the cow. Looking up. One more time. Round. And exhale. Tilt and flatten. Good. Now feel a little stretch to the wrist. We're just trying to turn the wrist out to the side of it. Take a little rock right to left. Side to side, just nice and easy. One more each way. Then from here, carefully turn those fingertips back towards the bottom. So 
does not have to be this exaggerated. And now the shift in weight comes from front to back. Just nice and easy, nice and light. If you feel any pressure in the wrist, don't force that stretch. Just stay where you're comfortable. Last one here. As we rock back and peel the wrist up off the ground. Roll it out a few times one direction. Roll it out a few times in the other direction. From here, we bring the hands together behind the back. Opening through the chest, opening through the shoulders. We interlace those fingertips together. Because if you're comfortable, and you can, you can either you can break on the knees, you can go to a high kneeling position, or if you're comfortable with this back, you can even start to bring the head to the mat. Get a little deeper into that shoulder stretch. From here, let's release the hands. If you came down, come up to kneeling. Take a big deep breath in to bring those arms up overhead. Big exhale out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Never miss a Monday. Have a great start to your week and a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you guys.